sort of. Hey, Callie, um, can you just describe for us maybe um, what's the kind of general mood and feel of the team heading in? Um, we're all pretty happy. We're all excited. And when we, we're getting around each other, um, because we're in our room, so when we get out, we're a bit <laughs> excited, a little crazy, a little bit, but um, we're very happy at the moment, just enjoying the whole experience. How big of a relief was it just to get through, I know you guys had two-day quarantine when you got down there, just to get through that, be able to get back out on the court, you know, to not have any issues with your testing during that period, and just to sort of be able to look forward again. Uh, it was good. It's testing every day is always, you know, will anyone test positive? That always, you know, is in the back of your head. But um, we all do the right thing and stay away from people. So we're doing a good job and then being able to practice. Like we had a bit of rust, after, you know, having two days off, you wouldn't think it would do that much. And then you have two days off and you're practicing and you fumble balls that you wouldn't or miss a shot that you wouldn't. So it was good to get the first practice out of the way and getting um, in the zone. Uh, when you guys are practicing, just what what's the main things that you guys are focusing on to try to pull off this upset against Kentucky? Uh, we're just, you know, trying to play like ourselves, getting the right shots, um, just practicing our offense, what we do best, and really uh, focusing on certain defense to change it up and really try and upset Kentucky a little bit, not let them do what they usually do and try and sh uh, slow down Howard um, as much as we can. Talking about wanting to still be patient, you know, I was just in the Kentucky press conference, their head coach says, you know, she wants to speed you guys up. I mean, obviously there have been teams that have tried to do that before, but probably not one with this level of skill. Just how do you stay within yourselves and sort of dictate the pace of the game when you're on offense instead of starting to go back and forth with them? Um, we played against GCU, who try to speed us up a lot. They're, you know, trying to get as many steals and press different presses all the time. So... We've um, we played against that, which I think helps. And I think maturity, where a lot of us are older now, so we know how to play against that. And we try and not get flustered and take one play at a time and just do the simple things. When teams try to speed you up, um, you just got to do the simple things and be aggressive with that. You guys have been there since Tuesday, kind of just hanging out in the hotel. Does it feel like it's taking forever to get to the game? Like, what are you guys doing to kind of stay busy and uh, and just stay focused? Um, we have, um, it does feel weird that we've been at a hotel for so long and haven't played, but uh, we have film, we have to go walk to get COVID tested. Like COVID testing takes around an hour. Um, we have film, we try and eat together to break up the day instead of eating in our rooms and being by ourselves. We eat all together, um, practicing. We have a lot of time, downtime, but that's up to you what you want to do in your room and what gets you ready for the game. But, um, and we're, we're in the middle of school right now, so a lot of us have homework. Montana's in the middle of taking the exam right now. So lots of us are trying to stay on top of school as well. So yeah, we have basketball, but <laughs> we have a lot of schoolwork as well. How well do you feel the, you know, Coach Seaton talked about, um, you know, his perspective of no longer just being happy to be there, but with you, the players, it's your first time. How, how well do you think you guys have moved on from, you know, the, the fangirl moments of seeing some of those certain players to, to getting back to, to a business mode? Um, I think when we, you know, we celebrate a little bit and then um, we had practice again and then we had feel when we saw Kentucky and we're like, hey, like we match up pretty well. Um, and then, you know, we saw how they played it. We saw their offense and we're like, you know, like we might have a chance, we might have a shot and then we're practicing and doing film and doing walkthrough. I'm like, Hey, you know, like, I think that gets excited when you're like, we could win, you know, like we, you know, usually big teams think they can just blow the mid major schools, you know, out of the water a little bit, but it's kind of nice to ha have that feeling that we have a shot and we could make history and we're all talking about it. And we're, we're excited to try and do something here. What have your thoughts been on, um, you know, the facilities, sort of the amenities there? I don't know if you've seen the post comparing it, of course, to the men's tournament, but that's a big thing that's been going around. 
Um, I'm super grateful what we have, like showing up, like it was super exciting seeing the whole hotel set up, the whole convention center. Like, it, like we're super grateful what we have, but I just think it, the inconsistency isn't great. Um, just seeing what the men have to the women, you know, we're both at the same tournament, just the women and, um, and we're here for just as long as they are. So it is, if it, it feels a little unfair, but again, we're grateful what we have. And at the end of the day, it's about basketball, not what you what presents or whatever you get so I think we're just it's all about the basketball and the results at the end of the day um do you have any friends or family coming to uh see the game on Sunday um my boyfriend's coming up today so I'm pretty excited for him to come but um my teammates their family's coming and they've kind of put me under their wings. So they're kind of, you know, a little bit my family too, like the, especially Montana's um, parents. I'm super close with them. So I'm really excited to see them. Um, so it'll be cool to see people in the crowd. The boosters, like we're, I'm all, like I know lots of faces, lots of family from other, like other teammates. So it's just going to be cool seeing everyone in the fan uh, stadium and supporting us. Your thoughts on having to go against the team you know, with a girl who has that much usage, I mean, just that much that revolves around her. And obviously she's extremely good. Um, but, you know, like, like Sweden sort of talked about, you guys haven't done that a ton this year, although you have experience with it in the past. I mean, what changes for you going against a team that's sort of built that way? Um, again, like we got to focus on Howard and uh, that a lot, but also focus on the other players and just watching film, like what's their favourite move to do, what's their favourite shot, um, their offence, how we can, you know, if they want to do a certain screen or what, we can try and su shut that down. But and then get, at the end of the day, we've got to play our defence. We're a great defensive team. That's what drives us. Um, that's what pushes our offence. So if we, you know, really lock down on that, I think, I think we'll be pretty good. And you're you're the kind of player who, of course, likes to battle against these bigger teams and the, you know these bigger players, right? It's something that you're doing a lot, just because the way the team is built. I mean, even in the regular season, um, your thoughts about that, and of course, they'll have the height advantage. Um, it, it's exciting for me. I always love playing against the bigger, better teams. I, I love to be the underdog. <laughs> it's been weird this year, you know, being um, at the top and, you know, always teams are trying to um, get the win against you. Whereas usually I've been the underdog growing up. I've always been for teams that haven't been the greatest. So we've always been the underdog and I like to play against the hard, the best of the best. So I really look forward to it and enjoy it. So I'm, I'm really excited. I really am like the bigger players. I'll just, um, try and work my hardest and we'll see how we go. What does it feel to, how, how does it feel to just sort of be in with this chance to make history? And of course, you guys have done a ton of work to get here. Um, now it's in front of you, but just, you know, you, you've really earned that opportunity, right? Just how does it feel to be a couple days away from that chance? It, this season's gone so quickly. Like I, we felt like we're in preseason forever because we started practicing in July, and then the season just kept getting pushed further and further back. So we've been practicing for a really, really long time compared to other schools who have had COVID restrictions and shutdowns and things. So we've been been we've been really lucky to practice for such a long time. So we're just hoping that all that hard work in the preseason um, pays off to the last to the important stages which we are in now.